Good afternoon, YouTube Fat Cat Collections. Back at you with another fragrance review or cologne review. And today I just want to talk about one uh, by Halston. It's called Halston Z14. Now, if any of you are new to my channel, basically I have a very, what I would consider a very novice nose when it comes to fragrances. But that doesn't mean I really enjoy collecting them. I have over 70 fragrances in my collection right now. Some being a dollar from Dollar Tree, although not really many of them. But it's kind of a good way to kind of get to know if you might like a cologne, although it's not the best way because uh, they smell really completely different if you really smell the real deal. But then I have ones that I've had for many, many years, all the way up to my most recent ones that I probably picked up in the last maybe two months, maybe 20 different bottles. And so, again, if you're new to my channel, basically, there's lots of guys out there reviewing colognes that are very expensive, the, the niche colognes and a lot of the designer colognes that can be pretty expensive. Um, I tend to like to stay within those, those that price point of 20 and under. That's kind of what my real comfort level is for buying a cologne, and that generally is going to have to be a 100 milliliter bottle. That doesn't mean that I don't have colognes that are more expensive. It doesn't mean I won't spend more for colognes. I just have to really like it for me to really warrant that amount of, that kind of amount of money. For under 20 bucks, I love the blind buy, and I love seeing what I'm going to get. Most of the blind buys that I've had or that I purchased already, I've really, really, I really, really like, um, with the exception of a few. And this is one particular blind buy that I purchased um, locally, so I'm able to return it. Um, I wanted to do a quick video review on it because I just want to share my experience with the clone. And this has been around since 1976, okay? And this is called Halston Z14. Now it comes in a very basic box, and if you've seen my videos before, you know I don't go much into the presentation. A uh, very basic cardboard box, Z14. This one I had seen online, and I saw a couple people talking about it on Fragrantica, and it seemed like something that, there's the bottle, basic, no markings on it, kind of an amber colored, almost like, uh, almost looks like, like a beerish kind of color there. Um, it's an interesting bottle, uh, nothing really to write home about though. Um, but anyway, I was online, I've seen a couple people talk about this one, not much on YouTube, not really much online, but somehow I stumbled upon this one, and I said, ooh, Z14, that's pretty inexpensive. That might be a good blind buy. Halston's been around forever. And some of those older ones, like from the you know late 70s, early 80s, were like powerhouse masculine fragrances, which is kind of what I like. I really like ones that really kind of, um, I don't know, I, like, I, I guess I kind of prefer more daring scents. That doesn't mean I'm going to like all daring scents, but I tend to like, be more intrigued with a daring scent. And so I figured this one would be a great, a great buy. I'm really glad I didn't buy it online because I was, I was able to find it locally here for $19.99. And this right here for $19.99, you get eight fluid ounces. Really, really inexpensive. I thought I was buying the four ounce bottle until I got home and realized it was an eight ounce bottle. Now this stuff, I went out to the car, I sprayed it along the ground. I wasn't super impressed right off the bat. And I have to tell you, I'm not really super impressed after wearing it for a little while. Now I didn't wear this for hours. I wore it for about an hour. I know it's not really giving a, a fragrance really enough time to really develop, but this one's enough for me. And what I did was I actually took a little bit, even though eight fluid ounces, nobody's really gonna notice. I put a little bit in a little a little uh, spray bottle I had left over, and just labeled it Z14. So I am gonna try it again in the future, but I can't really warrant twenty dollars for it because although it's a great deal for eight ounces, you have to like the fragrance. Otherwise, it's just gonna sit on my shelf. And I'm not at the point now where I'm so fanatical about just having them all in my collection that I want to keep what I'm not going to wear. Now, I'm going to do another video right after this and upload it for 2015 of, of the ones I purchased, my least liked, okay? Now, they're not really going to be a huge surprise because they weren't very expensive. So naturally, you know, you kind of do get what you pay for. But I have fragrances that I paid $15 for that are absolutely great. So you can find really great deals. And remember, this is all subjective. It's what you like. Maybe not everybody's going to dislike this. I mean, I saw reviews on Fragrantica and on Base Notes that people absolutely love this clone. Some people say it's nothing like the original formulation. Um, all I can do is tell you what I think about it, what I smell, and also what they say online about what is in it as far as notes. So why don't we begin? I showed you the bottle. I told you what I paid for it. I'm going to tell you what's in it, okay? So a um, little bit about the fragrance. Um, this is coming straight off one of the websites. Uh, the international rollout for Halston Fragrances for this particular one was in 1976. The mastermind behind this was uh, Michael Edwards. Um, let's see, uh, what else? Uh, it's supposed to be a really masculine fragrance. Um, let's see here. There's actually two. One's called Z14, the other one's 112. They're two different fragrances, but that has to do with, I guess, the perfume code. I don't know, whatever. Um, 
Yeah, a little bit about the bottle. Nothing really important that I really need to mention. Top notes, bergamot, lemon, basil, cypress, gardenia. The heart notes or middle notes are vetiver, jasmine, patchouli, coriander, cedarwood, cinnamon, and geranium. And then your base note's going to be amber, my favorite leather, or one of my favorites. Uh, this one I just have a hell of a libinum, a libinum, a libinum, man, I always, but you know, I always butcher these names here. Benzoin, moss, musk, and tonka. Now, what do I smell when I first smell this? Now, I bought it because I saw that it had leather and it was supposed to be very masculine. When I smell this, folks, oh man, I gotta tell you, when I first smelled it, I was like, man, this is definitely something that smells very dated, okay? And basically, after wearing it for a little while and getting it home, spraying it on clean skin, and then accidentally, what I was like, well, I can't wear this. It's not for me. I accidentally put it on again because I used a little spray bottle. I thought I was putting on something else. I had to take another shower. So um, this one here, what I get from this is lemon, a lot of lemon, and a lot of cinnamon. I really don't get nothing else. And after wearing it for an hour, that's all I continued to get was lemon and cinnamon. And to me, it just doesn't have any kind of real, I guess, substance. Like today, right now, I put on, I chose to wear, instead of Encre Noir, Encre Noir was a great blind buy, and of course I did do my research on it, a lot of people said good things about Encre Noir, which is why these videos are really, really important, because a lot of the juices that I purchased online that were blind buys, I did have a little bit of help, and look at what other guys had to say about them, what they smelled, what they thought about them, and this one, there's not a lot of talk online about it, there's hardly any videos on YouTube for Halston Z14, and to be honest with you, I guess I can kind of tell why. But if you are a fan of cinnamon, and I mean cinnamon, I don't mean like some of these notes that have cinnamon, some of these uh, colognes that have cinnamon in where you're like, oh yeah, I like cinnamon. For instance, I consider um, Parallels M, I believe has cinnamon in it. Uh, you can get a little bit of cinnamon out of it. Uh, there's other colognes I have that have cinnamon, but it's not overwhelming. This is extremely overwhelming with lemon and cinnamon, and I just can't express that enough. And it's so overwhelming that I don't get any leather. I, I don't get any leather, uh, leather out of that. Now maybe my nose is just not developed enough that I can really smell these things. Some people say they really like this cologne. For me, it's just not for me at all. And just to name off a few that I have in my collection that I could see right off the bat here on my favorites, Encre Noir, Wild Blue Noir, Cordovan, Black Walnut, um, Tim McGraw, McGraw by McGraw, and then uh, Southern Blend, um, uh, St. Bart's by Tommy Bahama, uh, very cool by Tommy Bahama. Uh, what else we got here? Lomani, uh, the Intense Black, Midnight in Paris, and Calvin Klein's Reveal, Dirty English, Lolita Lempica, uh, three of the Remy Latour cigars, uh, some Insurrection, One Millions, Cuba Golds. I got a lot of clones in my collections. And upwards of 70 clones of the ones that I purchased, I have to say that I've had four that I absolutely don't like. And I'll put up another video on which ones those are for 2015, just so you're in the know on what I think about them, okay? But this one here is definitely going back. Um, not to say that if I wear that little bit that I have in the bottle, and maybe I try it again, and I'll give it another whirl, you know, great. But you know what? For the other two I'm going to return also, that were blind buys, I'm just like, can't do it. And this one here, if it was 5 bucks, maybe 10 bucks, I'd keep it. But 20 bucks, I can put that $20 towards maybe a, like, Nautica Voyage, I mean, you guys have seen the videos on that one. Everybody has Nautica Voyage. You know, it's a very safe scent, but you know what? I'd rather have a scent in my collection that I'm going to like and actually use than one that's just going to sit on the shelf and collect dust. And that's just where I'm at with my cologne collecting. So I hope you enjoyed my video. If you like the content, please subscribe. I am new to the fragrance community. I have had a few welcomes by a couple of the uh, well-known guys out there, so thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, I think one was uh, 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 red, naturally Red Adolescence guy is awesome. I love watching Red Adolescence. Baps and uh, uh, Robes. I just got a message from him today welcoming me to the fragrance community. So thank you very much, guys. I'm definitely having a lot of fun. I've become very obsessive with, uh, as you know, watch collecting and fragrances. And I love fragrances uh, under 20 bucks. And I just wanted to touch on one more thing before I wrap this up on this particular clone. Um, another one that I kind of consider that I bought, that was only $6, is this one right here, 4711, the, uh, it's supposed to smell like, I'm sorry, very, very similar to Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. Um, for me, it's just one of those colognes that probably just isn't in my, I just don't like, it's not something that I'm really 
going to wear. But for $6, I kept this one because it's just one for the collection. But again, that's just my point, is that for this one, the Halston Z14, I, I mean, for $20, I just can't keep it in my collection. It's just, for 8 ounces, it will sit there forever. I'm never really going to wear that one. There's too many other clones I have that I really, really like, or ones that I just, I, you know, are safer sense. I shouldn't even say safer sense. Ones that I don't dislike. I kind of dislike this one. I just don't like the heavy, heavy lemon scent. And I know it has a lot of other stuff in it, but I just get that lemon and heavy cinnamon, and it's just too much for me. So, um... That's my video again. If you like the content, subscribe. What I, was, what I was saying before was I'm new to the community. I'm new to fragrance collecting, so my nose is kind of underdeveloped. Um, hopefully, I get better and better by smelling other clones and comparing what I think I smell in one versus the other. I and mean, that's basically how you learn. It's just through experience. So uh, either way, I'm having a lot of fun sharing the reviews, and I have a lot of subscribers, and hopefully, uh, so far, so good. Although my reviews right now on clones are kind of just getting started. I don't have a lot of traffic on there, not like my watch reviews or my Invicta reviews, really, because you know I love the Invicta watches. Um, so uh, hopefully that changes. Uh, I think that anytime you put your passion out there, people appreciate it, and people do appreciate honest opinions. And let's face it, the Internet's a big place, and it's really nice to be able to, to find people's opinions on there and just get an idea of maybe whether you're going to like it or not before you spend your money and have to ship it back. Cause let's face it, spend $20 online, you're going to ship it back, let's deal for free shipping, you're going to be out 5 bucks. at that point you might as well keep it. So... Uh, that's just my two cents on that. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you, if you have this cologne and have anything to say about it, uh, by all means, please leave a comment. And, uh, man, check, you know, keep checking back for more videos. Thank you so much, folks. Have a great day.